感觉在中国生活很幸福。Number 一。I am so excited you asked this question because I have something incredible to share. Because not only do we not have cardboard beds here, but it's as if the Beijing organizing committee said, "How can we just absolutely just one up Tokyo?" And this is what they went with. I don't know. <laughs> I'm in zero G mode now. Number R. I'm eating snacks right now, but last night after we got home, I literally just sat in my bed and cried because I kept watching that video over and over again. <laughs> and I was just crying because it was the cutest thing ever, and like that moment was just so crazy, like a feeling I've never experienced. And I think. Being in snowboarding, you kind of get desensitized to the Olympics and the idea around it because we're talking about it so much and it's so normalized in conversation. And so, and I mean, obviously we've been working hard for this forever, you know. But I think it didn't really feel real until like we walked for me at least. Like after that, like in that moment, that was the craziest moment of my life. Genuinely, like the craziest moment. So, and that guy who it said, "Welcome to China," literally just like <laughs> makes me tear up every time because they're so nice. Like ev all the volunteers are so sweet and so kind, and they're just like so happy that we're here. We feel so welcomed, and I don't know. It was just insane. Number seven. <laughs> You're coming home with me.
feel silly? Don't you feel stupid? Don't you feel a little ashamed? Number one. A meeting's not right now, but. A meeting's not right now, but. Last night after we got home, I literally just sat in my bed and cried because I kept watching that video over and over again. And I was just crying because it was the cutest thing ever. And like that moment was just so crazy, like a feeling I've never experienced. And I think being in snowboarding, you kind of get desensitized to the Olympics and the idea around it because we're talking about it so much and it's so normalized in conversation. And so, and I mean, obviously we've been working hard for this forever, you know? But I think it didn't really feel real until like we walked, for me at least. Like after that, like in that moment, that was the craziest moment of my life, genuinely. Like the craziest moment. So, and that guy who had said, welcome to China, literally just like <laughs> makes me tear up every time because they're so nice. Like every, all the volunteers are so sweet and so kind and they're just like so happy that we're here. We feel so welcomed and I don't know. It was just insane. Number Leo. We just joined the rest of the team. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna have some food. Bulgaria. Bulgaria. Thank you for watching.